we are back with another tutorial you guys so wanted to come on today and talk to you guys a little bit about my pre-manufactured wig which is miss sass or a short um hair unit maybe you have ordered from me i'm going to do a separate vi video on the ones that have more like the lace um so i can show you guys how to kind of put it down and everything and how to install it at home on your own um so look for that video but this video in particular are for my short uh, pixie pre-manufactured units. What's a pre-manufactured unit? A pre-manufactured unit is a, a wig pretty much that I've taken that I've bought um, through my vendor. It's already made. Um, it's quality hair as far as 100% um, human hair. It's not virgin hair, but it is um, a, a great alternative for someone that's looking for a starter wig and they're not really quite ready to make the financial commitment to getting a lace wig because, you know, it is a little more of a financial commitment because of the lace and the time that goes into creating a handcrafted piece. Now, these, these pieces are factory made, so um, it's a standard uh it's pretty much made one one type of way. So what I've done is and what you're really paying for in this unit is um, my cut and my style and the cut sets it off. So I always like to say this is this wig should remind you something of um, if you were getting a quick weave or um, you were doing a sew-in with regular um, Remy hair, that's what you could look at this unit as. So it, it saves you so much time in sitting there getting a quick weave, short quick weave done. So I've taken all that hard work out. And the great thing about this is you can sew these down if you braid your base down as well as you can um, glue it down if you choose to do it around the perimeter. Now, I would suggest if you are going to glue your unit down, you kind of want to um, do it in front of your hairline. Do not put the glue on your hair. And when I say that, I'm talking about the hair glue, okay? So um, if most of the times I'll tell them because there are adjustable straps in there, you want to kind of go in there and just on the ends and on the back. If you want to pull it down so it, it lays taunt, you could do that. I would do an anchor dot here, an anchor dot here an anchor dot right up under my sideburn, right up under here, and you let it dry, okay? Just tie your scarf down and mold it down. You guys will love that. So let's just go ahead and get into what to expect. Now, when you receive your wig unit, it's gonna look a lot like this. It's already molded, um, I've already cut it, it's already washed, so it's gonna look like as if you came from right up under the dryer. I leave it somewhat molded and not really broken up. I don't put any heat on it because the purpose of me selling you this wig is so you can learn to work with it with no heat. Now, granted, you can definitely use heat on this. You can use up to upwards of between, you can go up to 450, but make sure your hair is clean first. Um, uh, you definitely don't want to ever singe the hair and curl it on dirty hair. So um, that's why I say you want to do it when it's clean. So she just came from uh, up under the dryer. She's been cut, all that kind of stuff. And all I did was just kind of break her up with a little bit of oil. And I'll show you what to do. And now with wigs, you want to be careful using oil because you kind of want to stay away from anything that makes it kind of weigh down. But, you know, I don't like dry wigs. It makes it look like a wig. It makes it look ratty like a bird's nest. So you can use a little bit of oil. It, it just depends on what you're using and the amount. So what I say is that if you are going to, um, if you don't, if you're heavy handed, go with a wig shine. A wig shine has oil, it's oil free, or you can use serums that are light with like that silicone free or whatnot. I, in particular, like to use um, one um, called Ruby's natural hair care and you could go online and get that i'll drop it in the comment below i love all her products they're all safe to even use on your wigs love it on the hair as well so the, what you want to use to wash your uh, unit will be what you would use on your hair this is human hair so go ahead and do that so um you can go ahead and use your regular shampoo and conditioner if you use swab at home use a swab on it um i i will probably use something that says moisturizing but if you want to use your good stuff on here you can do that too um so let's go ahead and take her off the wig mold now she doesn't come with a wig mold but um you'll see it's gonna look very molded now the key is you want to lay your hair flat so if you have braids braid your base down you want to go in um cornrows in the back or you want to do a circle if you're going to sew it down 
So if you're going to do a circle, you're going to want to have bring your braid down or wherever your hairline goes down to. And then that way you can do some anchor stitches in there. So if you want to, um, to make it more like a sewing, you could do that as well. Uh, so with that being said, what you want to do is smooth your hair out. You definitely want to put on a stocking cap. I don't have one available right now, but just imagine that, you know, my hair is flat and I've put a stocking cap on. So we're going to act like this black part of my hair is stocking cap. Now, for some ladies that actually do have sideburns, what you could do is in your cap, in your cap, you can... Pull just a little bit of your own sideburns out to help sell the piece even more. So leave out about a little bit about that much. You can definitely do that. So you see what I'm saying? Just isolate a little bit of it out. So when you put on your unit, you'll have a little more full of sideburns. So I've only done a general cut on there. When you get any type of wig, any wig you get, you have to make some type of adjustments. So what I've done is I normally, on purpose, leave it back a lot more wispier. Because what you're going to do is you're going to go in with some type of razor comb. And you're just going to tap it in the back or have somebody go ahead and edge it out for you. Like your stylist or yourself or your husband or one of your kids or whoever you have, your girlfriend, whoever. Have them go ahead and just etch that side out for you. If you want more of a sharper line, you will go and do that. I don't put that in because, again, these are... Um, it's a, it's, it's a pre-cut on them. So you got to make a little adjustment. So that's why I'm taking time to show you this video. Um, so let me go ahead and get to it. So just imagine I put my cap on. Because I have sideburns, I end up putting it out. If you don't have any, don't worry about it. You're going to want to go ahead and just slide whatever you do have back. Also, people that don't have hair. Now, these are one size fit all kind of. They only go from like 21 to 23. So if you have a smaller head beyond that, you're gonna have to tack this wig. You're gonna have to be one of the ones that maybe do the anchor dots because it's gonna be too big for your head. And what you can do is through Amazon or at your local store, you can um, purchase a wig gripper. It goes up under your wig and it helps it stay in place. So, um, or you wanna double up on your cap. So let's go ahead and put this on right now. So you gotta kinda play with it because I've made a general cut, but you know, you may have to move that hair in the front. Maybe I, t maybe you want to take some of that hair away. It just depends on what you want. And you got to play with your positioning. It, if you want it that far down, but you want to put it where your natural hairline will go. So my natural hairline is about right there. Okay. In your wig, I should have showed you this. In your wig are these tabs at the end. Make sure those tabs are where your sideburns lay. Okay? And there are adjustable straps in the back. You're gonna put that on. Get your comb and begin to work in your details. See how that's flowing all in there? And I put a little bit of my, my own edge out. Now it's preference. If you don't want to pull your own edges out, you don't have to. I'm going to take that off real quick. So you just want to work those details in. If these are too long, this is where you will take your razor comb. And you just lightly tap them. And voila, you don't have to do anything to them but work the cut. I did all the hard work. So you just begin to play with it. Now you see how I left that wispy back there? That's where you're going to go ahead and go in with your razor comb. And if you want more of a sharper line, you just go in and etch it out yourself. Line it up yourself. So I left more than enough room for you to etch this out with your razor comb. And get behind your, hair, your ear and make it more detailed and make, chisel it around your ear. That's going to be what sells the piece as well. Now this is Miss Sass and she's a little longer, but Miss Sass is also made where she's shorter. So her hair is about up to here. 
So that's where you, um, you know, her bang is a lot shorter on that one. But I show you in a previous video what to do. So these, the, whether you get the long um, Miss Sass or the short one, they're all the same. See what I'm saying? You work the cut. And then what you do is take a little bit of your product. We're gonna take a little bit of our love oil or our oil, or our castor oil, whatever type of oil you do have, just a little bit. And we're gonna put a little shine on her. That's gonna also help to lift up this hair up there. Oh, that's looking cute. She looks edgy. You gotta play with it. Play with it. Any wig you buy, you have to play with it. And you have to put your own style into it. You gotta put your own twist to it. Now, and how we lay these sides down is we take a little bit of a little edge control. You can use some design essentials, uh, Sleek Max, um, olive oil, cream of nature. We just want a little one. You can even use a little bit of invisible. Uh, of the black got to be glued one to lay it down if you want. You see how it just lays it down just a little bit. And this product is a by one of my peers. Uh, this is True Stylist. Give me control and I'll put that down below so you guys can get that. This is just a, like a, a texture paste. It's kind of like putty like. So what this does is when you have a product like that's a little more stickier because I also like the Gorilla, Gorilla Snot. You can get that. I know. I hate that name, but I like it because it has like a texture paste. I don't know if y'all can kind of, you see that stickiness? What it does is helps lift up the hair. And voila. You put her on, you want them shorter. If you want your side burn shorter, make them shorter. Like me, I wear mine shorter because don't nobody got time to be playing with this all day. But I do love having some nice little detail in there. And you just go in there and just make it all pretty. Then what you're going to do is... Take your scarf, tie it down for a moment. You could be getting, getting ready for work or, or whatever you're doing. I'm just showing you the reason why we're doing it is important to melt your, um, melt the mold, like melt your wig into your skin somewhat. That's kind of too big for my head, but. I'm just kind of doing that. So do, 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 do. We're going to pretend like it's five minutes later, okay? Because nobody has time to actually wait on here that long for us to mold. So, because the thing is, you want it nice and molded around the sides, okay? That's my little trick to get it. See how cute that is? I also sometimes use to lay it really flat if I want like that flat, flat look. I put a, a do-rag on because I sleep wild. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't sleep on the, in this if I, I, I could take it off. But say I had it sold on, I would definitely do that. This is like when you want those details to, like, lay. You want your mold to look like it's flat, but then you just want to work the cut, like, with your layers. This is what you'll do. And sometimes, too, if this is, like, coming up, um, it could be that it needs to be thinned out on the sides or you could put a little extra product or use a little um, uh, Hairspray or something like that. Okay, um, if you really want it to be like stuck But we don't want stuck on hair, but sometimes it's nice to have it just like we're not going out of control So we wear that for however long we was gonna wear that see how it makes it nice and flat again and now all I got to do use a little bit of my texture paste if I chose to bam work it like that so whether you have the long mix uh, miss sass or this is the longer version of mix miss sass or you have um, 
the short one where you know i you know i showed you in a previous video if you haven't watched it go to the how you mold your um your short hair unit you're gonna love it so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial please like and subscribe um and also this is just a great starter wig i have lace wigs now those baby girl you gonna want one of those yes I'm talking about you can look like you can lift it up and then scalp it. Ah, everything. Those come with a consultation. So if you need any type of help with your unit, please reach out to us. This should help you. And watch the previous video on how to mold and style Miss Sass. And it's a part one and a part two to it. And just go ahead and support. Support, support, support. If you know someone that's struggling with hair loss or, you know, they have a bad wig or they need a wig or maybe they just want to switch it up. Have them give me a call. I'm, I love what I do. Very invested in my clients and I like to make sure that they are enjoying these wigs. The purpose of me making this video is so that you guys have a little more hands-on with me on how to put on a wig. So I hope y'all enjoyed this. Y'all have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.